So I'm sitting here with George Camberos of Cross Country Mortgage. Thank you so much for joining me. Thanks for having me. Let's talk about what you're seeing for 2023 in terms of the first couple quarters and, uh, and then where we go from there. Yeah, I think we're going to face the same challenges we have faced for the second half of this year, where it's figuring out buyers getting comfortable with where things are at with interest rates, if they're comfortable with the price points that they're in right now just basically finding a place to actually buy. I think there'll be an intersection between affordable interest rates and affordable price points. There's been information that's come out from the feds that the conforming loan limit has increased. Can you speak to that? So the conforming loan limits for 2023 have increased to $726,200. So essentially that gives a buyer the ability to purchase up to a $750,000 home with as little as 3% down. So the government jumping in and insuring loans this high has drastically increased affordability for home buyers. Great. And and options. Yeah. And options in terms of coming in and being able to buy a more expensive home than they may have qualified for just a year ago. Yeah, the biggest barrier to home ownership is down payment. Yeah. So the fact that they've increased conforming loan limits and are able to insure loans that high with 3% down versus having to purchase with a jumbo loan where you're almost required 20% down for the most part, it, it makes it tougher for people to afford homes in that price range. Sure, I mean, it's a significant development and it's one that'd say, this is the time. Connect with your lender now and put together a program for 2023 so when we move into the spring market, whenever that materializes, you're ready to go. Absolutely.